getting that first client in a new territory. Steve here with the Janitorial Store, the channel where we help cleaning business owners scale their businesses with systems, tools, and resources. Well, you know, it can be a, a challenge to, to go over into a new territory or, or a new city and uh, try to get your first client. Um, you know, a lot of times what happens is when a, uh, uh, you have an existing client in your, in your current service area and they have an office in another city or another territory and they ask you if you can go over there and clean it. That's typically how we end up, you know, branching out like that. So with that kind of an opportunity, that's the best thing that could ever happen to you. So in that situation, it kind of makes this whole process easier because you actually got your first client. Uh, it, because it's, it's a current client. But uh, in order to get that, that new client, uh, what you got to do is you, you do the same thing you did that you did in your, your home territory. First, you got to identify the sector that you want to go after and the size of the account. So let's say it was a, a general office. Let's say it was an accounting office that, uh, that brought you to the new, new territory. So you can look for uh, additional uh, accounting offices to go after or other professional office buildings. Uh, so, and you know, maybe uh, think about the size of that current office that you, that you got. Uh, maybe it's a couple thousand square feet. So maybe you'll go after uh, two to 10,000 square feet in size. But in either case, you always uh, have to create your list. Now I've talked about this many, many times. Uh, your list is probably the most important thing that you have. So create that 300 list uh, for that new territory break it down into professional office buildings by type uh, then you know also go into your medical your essential businesses you know your medical uh, your manufacturing and, and think of those there th those uh, those types of uh, accounts because those are the ones that obviously will will keep you going uh, during times of a pandemic okay so you create your 300 list you're going to do your research then then it's a matter of going ahead and setting appointments that means you're going to get on the phone and you start, you're going to start calling some of, these, uh, some of these contacts that you have on your list. And hopefully setting up appointments so you can talk to them in person about their cleaning. And let's say the pandemic's still going on. Well, we just do a Zoom call. You know, set up a Zoom call and, and have a conversation that way. Um, in either case, you know, essentially you're going to have to do a walkthrough of the facility. And you can do, things, uh, you can do those things safely, uh, you know, with masks and so on and so forth. Um, so... That's not, you know, out of, uh, out of the question. Uh, many companies are doing it. Uh, I talk to people every day that tell me that they're just busy and heck doing walkthroughs and, and, and doing proposals. So uh, once you do your research, set that appointment, set that appointment, get, go to the walkthrough, and uh, remember to ask a lot of good questions to uncover the information that you need in order to give them a price on, on how, uh, you know, on, on providing that service. Now, you also have to determine if... Uh, how far away this is. Uh, let's say this, this, uh, this client is an hour away from, from your home base. Well, we have to keep that in mind because, you know, an hour travel time back and forth, if we're paying an employee to go there and clean, or even ourselves, that's two hours drive time round trip. That's, that's a lot. So what you want to consider is that you got to consider hiring local, local people uh, to clean that account. So that would be one of the things you would do. If you did have a current client that had you move, uh, come over and take care of an account, then it's kind of a built-in thing there. You can find a part-time person to go ahead and clean that account. Sure, you'll have to go over there for a period of time, uh, you know, to get things get things started. But uh, you know, that's okay. It's well worth it because once you get that up and rolling, and you can assign a supervisor to to follow up and do quality control and training over there, uh, then you got it all set. But you have to consider the drive time. You have to. Uh, very, very important. Uh, we had a client that was an hour away uh, from our from our, our office. Uh, so, you know, that was a two-hour trip. But the thing that, this was a floor care, uh, uh, an account. So uh, what we did is we actually were able to fill in between uh, our, our home office and that location with more floor jobs that were rotation jobs. So it worked out fantastic. We eventually ended up having... Uh, a number of different clients done on that same day. Uh, we had three other clients uh, where we went in and did floor care. We went in and we did a burnish on a floor. On average, it took us an hour, so we'd do three, th two, three uh, stores either on our way there or on the way back. Worked out great. So, 
Uh, so yeah, uh, hire locally if you can. And uh, you know, as we're building uh, our, this new territory, this new city, we got to remember we got we got to build in clusters. So if you have a uh, uh, that clients in a uh, in a uh, industrial park, office center, or something like that. Try to build off that. Try to build that cluster within a three-block area. Try to get more business, you know, uh, and uh, just try to build the cluster. That's the best way to do it. Is if you're building a cluster, you can get five, six office buildings or or accounts in that in that cluster. Then that's great. It makes it easier for you when you hire somebody to to do you know one, two, three jobs a night in some cases. So uh, make sure you do that. Now, something else you got to do is that when you go to that new territory, you know, you got to be doing some networking in that in that territory, in that city, that town. So, you know, remember that. Uh, you know, make sure you, you uh, check out the networking that's available. And then, essentially, all you're doing is uh, you're just repeating this. Repeat the process. Uh, you know, one thing that I keep on telling people is that always review the five-week challenge that we have. You know, jump, jump start your sales a five week challenge on the janitorial store. Because if you follow that process, that's all you're doing is you're just repeating the process. You know, you start on, on day one, you go through for five weeks and you just repeat and you keep doing this. And what will happen is that you're going to pick up more business if you follow that. And, uh, you know, eventually you're going to uh, get your market share. And, uh, you know, that's something too that uh, depending on the size of the city, you know, you could have, you could uh, actually do some pretty lucrative business uh, over in the new territory or in the new city. So just keep some of this thing in mind. Uh, you know, because when you do get that opportunity, you you got to take it. Uh, but just always remember is is once you get that first client, uh, which is the toughest thing, uh, unless you got a client that that had a location over there, um, then you know just build off that and continue to build off it. And uh, you'll end up with a very successful cleaning business. So, well, hopefully you got some value from this video. And if you did, uh, go ahead and make a comment or leave a like down below. And uh, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. And uh, turn on the bell notifications to get all the latest updates on new videos to help you grow your cleaning business. So, thanks for checking in. And uh, keep it clean out there.